The question of how to tease out or differentiate a tantrum from a manic episode is one which has gotten a great deal of attention. First of all, a manic episode should really last longer. Um, the current diagnostic criteria say that to have hypomania, which is a kind of lower level, less severe form of mania, should last at least four days. To have true mania should last at least a week. Now, of course, somebody who has mania isn't irritable or euphoric 24-7 during that week, but most days, most of the time, they do have that mood state. Whereas a tantrum, of course, tends to last 30 minutes, uh, at most, you know, an hour or something like that. Even, let's say, a couple of hours, but that's hardly a week. The other thing that differentiates um, a tantrum from an episode of mania is that an episode of mania isn't just about a change in mood. An episode of mania, at the same time that you have the change in mood, you should have changes in your sleep, changes in your activity level, changes in how your thoughts are going. So it's not just a sort of transient half an hour, hour, two hour kind of thing. It's a period of time that goes on for at least a week, or in the case of hypomania, at least four days, during which a lot is different. Not just the, they're not just more irritable, but they also have all these other kinds of changes. So you don't make the diagnosis of mania based on one symptom. You don't make it based on irritability. You make it based on a change in mood from that person's baseline that's accompanied by changes in sleep, appetite, activity level, and all of that happening at the same time.